it the Jet Ski Jockey Channel. Today's video is going to be about how to avoid burnout riding stand up jet ski. Stay tuned. coming at you figure i'll take me a little break here in the shallow zone beautiful day here today better get out and do a video got a uh, comment uh, asking about how to stay motivated riding stand up and i know exactly where this person was coming from because i suffer with this all the time not not just with jet skis but also with motorcycles uh went through this um but you just gotta you gotta come up with a little routine uh you know it's said in the motorcycle community you don't have to have a plan a lot of times just go out and ride and you know a lot of cases that's true i've went out and ridden uh when i didn't feel like it and been some of the best days of my life but uh for the most part it's kind of good to have a routine uh what i like to do is i come up with the the practice routine of, of practicing uh buoys you know like i said I, I i've placed imaginary buoys out in front of the house i know where they are i know where my turns are so uh that's one aspect of my riding that i do another aspect of my riding i do is making vlogs for you guys like this you just getting out riding seeing what's going on like that airplane at the beginning of the video uh you know where did that come from i mean that guy was flying super low he couldn't have been 200 feet up he was super low he we left down here he flew over me down here and he flew all the way up and he's went through the s curves toward the beach i don't know where he ended up but he was behind the tree line back there he was so low but anyway you never know what you're going to see what you're going to get this is one of my favorite spots right here guys i've always wanted to stop here I, you know cool off out here in the shallow off this point not far from the house uh i mean i'm i'm walking around waist deep water i mean you see how far out in the lake i am i just like to get out here and chill out sometimes not all about riding sometimes sometimes i just like to sit here on the back of the ski and watch everybody else go by see what they're doing i mean there's more there's more to this than just riding the jet ski i mean it, it, it's getting out here it's just getting outside man it's getting outside and enjoying nature and the lake and and watching everybody else have a good time too just taking a break and resting I'm, I'm just enjoying sitting here with you guys, chilling, uh, right here in the shallow. Guys, one of the most important aspects of riding stand-up jet ski, not getting burnt out or losing your motivation for riding, after uh you know the newness of your ski is wore off and you know and you're you're just trying to explore ways to to keep it interesting the best thing you can do is make some friends that's got that's got stand-ups or sit-downs it don't really matter i don't care if it's a sit-down or a stand-up i ride with anybody but uh meeting the blue ridge jet ski club really helped me not get burnt out because I struggle with that. Uh, I never really had a lot of friends down here at the lake. Like I said, I've been down here since 83, been coming down here. I had neighbors, you know, as friends, but 
I had uh, I had some friends I rode with that come to my neighbors. Uh, I had a friend he would uh, machine the heads on my 550 and work do my motor work and he, you know he he done all that and we rode together. Uh, I had but. You know, that, that was exciting when those guys showed up to ride. And, you know, it's kind of the same thing now with the Johnson out there with the Blue Ridge Jet Ski Club on uh, Friday Night Buoys. Uh, you know, we got that Facebook group, and if they're going to ride, I don't think they're riding this week. Everybody's out racing this week, so just going to get vlogs from me this week. But... Uh, I mean, make some friends. That makes it that makes it a lot more interesting, and uh, it'll it'll help motivate you when you don't feel like getting out of the house to, to do it, to get out there and do it. Like I said, you need to try to get out here three times a week on stand up to get yourself acclimated, to keep yourself seasoned, and and. Uh, progressing on your riding. Now right here I'm not doing any anything spectacular. I'm just vlogging with you guys. I can't hardly I can't hardly ride hard and talk like that. So this is more of a this is a, just a vlog for you guys. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I always enjoyed watching the motor vloggers on their motorcycles and I thought it would be cool to, to do it on the jet ski. But uh, yeah, meet some friends. Another way, you know, not to get discouraged. You know, having friends and and sharing sharing this, uh, sharing the jet ski has always been a big thing to me. Uh, with with not getting burnt out to become, you know, I'm not the greatest rider, but to to, be, to help somebody else learn how to do it. You know, I'm good enough that I can teach you how to ride a stand-up. You know, you can take it from there and be as great as you want to be. I can get you started. And, you know, that's the thing. You know, share your ski. Now, I'm not saying just let anybody ride your ski. And, you know, this ain't like a motorcycle. You, you know, you got to really be careful who you let ride your motorcycle because somebody could really get hurt on a motorcycle hitting hit another car or whatever. But you got to be careful out here too. But there's a heck of a lot more room to work with on this lake. And, and you can get away from things and, and, and teach them in a place to where they can learn. Uh, if you teach them right and, and you go step by step and go slow and follow all the procedures, you won't have a bit of trouble and you'll make a friend for life they'll never forget what you did for them uh, like I said riding stand up is one of the most rewarding experiences you can have when you learn how to do it I always love to just ride along the bank here close trim the edges of uh, of the bank near the trees sometimes just go over top of trees you gotta be careful doing that though I mean, you know you don't want to something something up in your pump or hit something with your hole and you definitely don't want a new rider on your ski doing this right here you want them out in the middle of the lake but uh yeah man meet me some friends have some friends uh you know make friends with your dealers uh what i need to do now as far as riding is is i need to get out and head to some of these races and meet some people into the racing scene and and learn more you know i'm just a recreation guy you know getting up with jonathan and him is the closest i've ever got to being around race stuff i mean i've never been to a jet ski race don't know anything about it i know i'm not ready for it i can't go six minutes uh, no point in me even trying right now. I need to get in shape. But uh, that's besides the point. And don't make it, don't, when, when I tell you to do this routine stuff, don't make it real serious. I, I notice I do that a lot. 
where I'll, uh, I, I'll get too serious about it, you know. And and if I'm getting to, I'm getting too serious about it, I know I need to I need to pump the brakes because uh, now I know that it's it's not it's not becoming fun anymore. It's it's becoming a job, and I don't want it to be that. I don't want it to be like a job. Uh, and my productivity, my creativity, is is not going to be as good if if I'm pushing the routine. If I'm just out here doing it for the routine, I got to I got to 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 want to ride. And that's what I was telling you in the previous video about things coming up and happening and messing with your head and getting you unfocused. And, and, and it's best in my experience with things like that. It takes me a day or two for my mind to get right after something in life has agitated me. And it's best to take to take that time and just go ahead and get your mind refocused. It, don't quit. I want to, you know, you want to quit. I want to quit all the time when stuff like that happens. I say I'm a quitting and this and that. Well, it ain't hurting nobody but me. Ain't nobody cares if I quit, you know. Uh, just, just shut up and, and, and calm down and you let that stuff float away. Just let it, let it go on down the river. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you'll get your, you'll get your spunk back. That, that little motivation, it'll come back and you'll know it's time to get back and get started. Time to get back and get started making your videos or riding your skis or racing or practicing or doing or you know teaching or, or whatever you're doing. But there's all kinds of aspects to this. Sometimes you come out here with no rhyme or reason, and that's okay. That's that's perfectly fine. Some, sometimes you'll find your reason after you get here. But you need to have a, some kind of a base routine set up keep from getting to keep from not being motivated to ride that's that's about the all best way i know how to put it guys uh, just do that and you'll be fine just do that and you'll be fine and as far as turning goes it's just something something you got to work on problem with it. Ain't no thing. You just got to work on it. And you're going to fall. You're going to mess up. That's part of this. Like I told you in some of the other videos, uh, sometimes I ride better after I go down. Knock the rust off. But 